Hi everyone. I'm back <laughs> with another uh, Keepers of the Light Codes message number two. Uh, they are amazing beings and I just really enjoy the connection. So this was from March 26th, so I'm a bit behind. Begin transmission. We of the Light Codes, the Keepers, have a message for you. We wish humanity to know that light language is a very practical way to send and install the light code frequencies of information into your bodies at this timing. You may open to receive these tools of light to clear, activate, and accelerate your third density bodies and more. Those who are allowing the light in right now are the way showers of the planet and many of you have come from other worlds to be here now to share in this amazing earth experiment this has called many to the planet for this exper experience to assist mankind to accelerate for in mankind's acceleration we in the multiverse are receiving an acceleration for what occurs for one occurs for the many. We are one. Therefore, allow your beings of light to assist you now to raise your frequency so that you vibrate at rates and raise the planet's and humanity's field of energy. We send you much contained within these codes. Some of these things are at a quantum level, new science, medicine, space, food, health, energy, mind, body, spirit, emotions, all levels, all timelines, and all space in between, clearings, and realignment with all timelines of the highest potential timelines brings you information to transcend all blocks and gain many gifts from your concurrent timelines. This is the field of all potentiality. You will be able to take leaps in your gifts and awakening. This is wonderful for you all. Earth's timelines happening concurrently so that accessing your lives is not a difficult, not difficult and is easy, as easy as a frequency shift, like tuning a radio station. So dear ones, remember that allowing these changes and shifts to bring humanity and the multiverse to a new level of awareness all at the same time. The old structure of the 3D earth is gone. And what you see before you are the remnants of the old guard, so to speak. Know that the oneness is the truth of this new earth. And all that does not resonate will need to change. The earth has no more karma, for this was a third density structure where each soul utilized it and agreed upon it to assist in the learning of their lessons. Now, as you think, so shall you reap, which means that you will receive the resonant frequencies returning back to you in magnification. Be sure to send higher frequency thought out and you will receive back a magnified higher frequency energy in return. Remember, the etheric field and the many who are connected and resonate with a particular frequency will connect and amplify your scent, thought, and feeling. What do you want to receive? This is resonance. This is why loving thoughts and your larger dreams of what you would like to manifest are so important now, for they will manifest according to your light and frequency. We wish you to vibrate 
at the highest frequency to manifest the potential of what your highest timeline will bring. Yes, you choose new timelines with every thought and idea. May your resonance be of the highest frequency of light. This is our gift to you, beloveds. Our Creator loves you all so much that when you connect with the oneness, Divine Source is in bliss with the connection, and you will feel that bliss in your hearts, and you will become that bliss. Remember who you are in the oneness, for you are Creator Gods from the Great Central Sun, and forevermore to bring light this light everywhere in the multiverse going forward in awareness of the oneness of divine source. We are the light code keepers. End of transmission. Man, that just gave me the goosebumps all over my body. Wow. Those beings are so powerful. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. So let me say hi to everyone. Hi, Lori. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Trish. Warrior girl. Uh, thank you guys for being here. <laughs> yeah, it's messages are all coming out. Really, you're right, um, Warrior girl. Um, they're intertwining. They really are all so excited about us being here that they all want to say, they all want us to stay on target. They all have their say about it because it's the most exciting thing to them that's ever happened. And to us too, really, if we remember who we are, this is an exciting time. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, definitely. Um, it's great. So, <laughs> You're welcome, Warrior Girl. I, uh, I'm i glad you're enjoying these. And, you know, I feel like even though some of them feel repetitive, there's a little crumb of new information in each one. And it is also the vibration of the information. It isn't just the same language over and over. It is a frequency that they're sending when the message comes through. And they are kind of keeping us in the lane <laughs> where we have to go because there's so much drama playing out in April in particular. So I think that that's um, part of why we hear, you know, this coming through from so many different beings. It's what they want to talk about because it's the most fascinating and wonderful thing to them to see how we're going to handle this. Since no group has done this on earth successfully, and it looks like we are. So uh, I have one more message coming through um, today, and that is George Harrison, who came through, um, which I'm really excited about. Um, so next. Uh, I will start this message in about, you know, 10 minutes ish, nine minutes. So <laughs> I'll see you all. I love you all. Thank you for being here. You always give me amazing energy. And I love that you came to watch. Thank you so much, you guys. Love you all. I'll see you on the next 